friends, it's me, Mrs. Ebert. I thought I would show you and your mom and dad or whoever's hanging out with you um, an art activity with using stuff that is most likely in your kitchen. Um, we're gonna use some kitchen utensils to paint with. This is a potato masher and a spatula, and then this is a little scrubby that you use for dishes. I got this paint off Amazon. It's liquid tempura paint, which is what you wanna use, uh, what we use at school for children's art. It is washable. I wouldn't smear all of your clothes on purpose, um, but I, and also I'd recommend that the kids paint in clothing that they don't mind if it gets messy, because if you're a real artist, you're definitely gonna get messy. Um, so what we do at school is instead of buying containers for your paint, which we, I think is kind of a waste of money, um, these are some old Tupperware that we, I put tin foil on so that when I'm done painting, I can just throw the tin foil away and it's really easy to clean up. Uh, I know a lot, we're ordering a lot of takeout food nowadays, so the takeout containers, if you save those, those are really good uh, to use for paint. You can either use them one time and throw them in garbage or do this and uh, put foil in them. I also have, I didn't use it for this project because they're too small, but depending on what kind of brush we're using, these are cat food tins, um, which we have a lot of because we have a crazy amount of cats in our house. Tuna fish cans, um, cans of vegetables, anything. You just save them, use them for your paint, and then you can throw them in the garbage so you don't have to deal with the big cleanup. So I have some construction paper here. You don't have to use construction paper. You can just use plain old um, printer paper if you wanted to. Construction paper is a little bit heavier. And don't feel like you always have to use white. I thought purple would be fun because it's spring. We're getting close to Easter. Um, you can get this on Amazon as well. I also heard that Michaels, um, which you can have things shipped from Michaels to you, you can order it and go there and pick it up like curbside. They'll just put it in your car. Um, okay, so the first thing that we would do is we get our paper. You're going to have your child write their name. So this, we always do this at school. We don't want to lose them being able to write their name and know the letters and all that stuff. So Mrs. Giddings always taught us a nice um, tip is to make a line so they know where to write their name. And then remind them that they have to pinch the pen or pencil or marker and to make their letters nice and slow and easy to write. So there, got my name on there. So you always have to sign your art from your artist. Okay, um, we can see here this big box of paint. This was like 20 bucks off Amazon Prime, so it came in like two days. Um, seems like a pretty decent brand. I picked these sort of springy colors. Now, when you fill your paint containers, you don't need to put a lot of paint in there. Kids always say, they, you know, I want more, I want more, more. But um, a lot of times the projects turn out better when there's a little bit less paint, depending on uh, what tool you're using to paint. So just go over here. Don't worry about colors mixing um, or that they're making something. This is all process art. So it's just about the process. It doesn't matter what it ends up looking like. It's just uh, to have them explore the medium and have fun with paint. So I think I'll try this one. Um, and if you're doing this with several children, you could have multiple containers of paint. Um, Usually we don't do that at school, they just have to take turns, which is another, you know, thing that they might be missing out, not being at school. Good thing to practice. So first I'm going to use this one, see what it looks like. It's making a cool little pattern here. See, I don't need a lot of paint on here. I'm going to go like this. I'm sure we could also go like, move it that direction too. Like I said, this is process, so it, there's no right or wrong way. I think almost potato mashers. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that's cool. Isn't it? I like that. Let's see, we'll do one over on this side. 
Okay. And like the little bit of blue is getting mixed in with the pink, which is no big deal. Um, with your color selection too, don't feel like you need to put every single color out. Just pick a couple colors. I might have to pick a better container for this one. Um, and don't be afraid to use black paint or brown paint. Um, just black and white makes some really cool art projects. Like I said, it's more about the process. Now I'm doing this more like a grown up, but the better would be lots of paint swirling all over the place. So then when you're done, you're gonna wanna make sure you have a place set up where you're gonna put your art to dry. Um, I covered a big part of my counter here with newspaper, which is the, one of the perks about still getting a newspaper. If you don't have newspaper, you could use maybe cardboard, because I know we're getting lots of things shipped, so if you save the boxes and break them down, or um, paper bags, just something to sort of protect uh, your counter. It's getting warmer outside, so you could probably paint outside in the next few days. Um, but this is something really easy to do, just using utensils that you find around your kitchen. All you need is some paint and some paper, and there you have some really awesome art. So I'll be back with some more videos showing you some more things that are pro is probably laying around your house that you can paint with. And that's it. Bye friends.